Hello, hello, and welcome to the Tarot Parlor Podcast. Today's episode is going to be all about daily cards, daily wisdom, one card draws. I will be using Pagan's Way Tarot today, and if you hear any small background noises, I am surrounded by cats. <laughs> so with that said, let's get started. Our first card, and what a card to start with, the Ten of Swords, but it is in a reversed state. Someone out there can relate to this card because they have gotten to a point in their life where they just can't do it anymore. You feel like you've reached the end of your rope and you just feel defeated. The, the bright spot is that you've gotten as low as you can go, and there's only one way to go, and that is up. You're coming to you're coming to a point where you're going to have to make a decision that puts yourself first, a decision that will be to your benefit, even if it's not quite going to make someone else happy or is not quite to the benefit of someone else. Like like you've you've gone through enough now. You've been nailed to the wall enough times. You have suffered enough abuse or criticism or kind of like an, an emotional defeat, a personal emotional defeat. This is the end. This is the end. Uh, you, 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 can't, you can't go any farther in the direction that you've gone and you've got to turn around and come back. And that's what this card is saying. That's the biggest thing I hear from this card is, what are you doing there? You can't stall out where you are. You have to turn yourself around and come back. Our next card is the Four of Pentacles, and I love in this deck it is titled Control. It, it is always about being in control, but this card is also about hanging on to something, really hanging on to something. It's often called the card of the miser, and it implies like being stingy or hanging on to your money, but it's so much more than that. People cubbyhole it, and it's so much more. This is about hanging on to something that isn't good for you sometimes. It's about hanging on to the thing you are most afraid of losing and in hanging on to it so tightly, you run the risk of losing it anyway. It's about being stubborn. It's about not taking um, other people's sound advice. It's about hanging on to old habits, hanging on to old friendships or relationships that are not good for you. It's about hanging on to something that you need to let go of. Our next card is the Ten of Cups. This is a very family-oriented card, and this is all about a huge reunion, a reconnection, a coming together, a celebration for some reason. It's mostly about a pivotal point where a family who may be splintered or someone who may be estranged comes back in together, and the effort is put forth to make reconnections of relationships. There's a lot of joy in this card. There's a lot of celebration and cheer. And there's a lot of the idea of better late than never. There's the idea of why didn't we do this sooner? Oh, our card is the Princess of Cups. In this deck, the princesses, aka pages in a in a traditional deck, are, are messengers. This message has to do with relationships. This is someone coming forth from the depths of a long way off, coming forth out of the blue, coming forth from the from the, you just never thought. You never thought. You didn't think you'd ever hear from this person again. You may receive a message from Someone you thought was impossible for you to connect with. You may receive a message from someone you didn't think you were worthy of. You, you're going to receive an offering from someone that you haven't heard from in a long time. For some of you, this could be someone or that you've walked away from a long, long time ago. 
there's that um, horse and rider in the distance. Just this is like a blast from the past. That's what my my mind hears is a blast from the past. Our next card is the Ace of Cups, and this is in reverse. Well, aces are all about beginnings, but in its reverse state, this card is telling us that plans you're making for a new relationship, plans you have of contacting someone new that you maybe haven't contacted before, plans of reconnecting someone, plans for any kind of relationship to go forward. Just, it's, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. If you try to make it happen, you're going to run into unforeseeable obstacles. Um, the term beating a dead horse comes to mind. It's like beating a dead horse. The universe doesn't seem to have everything aligned for this to happen. Not at this time. Not at this precise time. You know, this could mean this isn't never going to happen. It's just not going to happen now. Our next card is the Lord, and he is reversed. Oh, my God. I believe that in a traditional deck, this is similar to the Emperor. Uh, it's like you're in a position right now where people are flocking to you and looking to you for answers or explanations or they're waiting to see what you're going to do next or like what's the next thing on the agenda and it's like like you're like what the hell <laughs> what the hell why is all this responsibility laid on me why is everybody waiting for me to make the the next move why is someone waiting for me to try to explain something that something that might be unexplainable, actually? Our next card is the Six of Cups, and it is titled Nostalgia in this deck. This is all another blast from the past card. Usually when this card comes up, I find that someone from the past is thinking about you, or you have someone from the past on your mind. There's going to be someone coming out of your past. There's going to be someone possibly trying to make a very nostalgic reconnection. This card has been problematic in past readings for, for that person or, yeah, that person to come out of the past. But for, but for other readings, it is comforting. It might be a family member that you had an estrangement with. It might be a close friend that you've lost contact with. So this is not always a, a relationship, romantic related thing. It is very nostalgic. It's very connected to our childhood and to fond memories and to people who inhabited that world with us. So this card can have two very distinct energies and feels about it. Which one is going to be for you? And our last card for today is the Two of Pentacles, and it is all about balance, and that's what this card is titled in this deck. <sighs> yeah, someone, someone really is off balance in life, whether financially, relationship-related, health-wise, uh, just in some very basic way, and it's time to be grounded. That's what this card is telling me, that someone out there needs to do whatever it is they need to do to calm themselves, to stop repetitive thoughts, to stop repeated negative actions. Someone needs to ground themselves and kind of take a deep breath, shrug something off, and stand up and start over. And with that said, until the next time and until the next video, bye-bye.